A couple people were looking for some updates on a few of my video game projects and this is what I have for you so far. Uh, I've slowly been transitioning from a PC build of Hyperspin over to a new uh, graphical interface called LaunchBox. And this is what you see here. Um, it's called Big Box, which is a LaunchBox variant. And I think it's freaking amazing. Um, it's extremely fluid. Everything just runs seamlessly. It's a very, very nice looking um, interface. But where it really shines is behind the scenes. Every, em almost every single emulator or video game system that I'm running on here ties in to a core program called Retro Arc, Retro Arch, I don't know, Retro Arc, and um, that one program handles all of the emulators, and that one program is what's being pulled uh, into the interface that you see here. Um, this is a Nintendo Entertainment System. It's one system of dozens that I have on here. Um, as you can see, it uses clear artwork for um, all of the game title logos instead of box art. I prefer this myself because it, I just, it looks, it's my personal opinion. You can have box art here. I prefer the clear art logos. Um, and uh, there's 850 games here, so you could speed up, and let's say you want to go from baseball to Zelda. Well, it would take you for forever to scroll through 800 games, but there's a shortcut that let you, it lets you skip um, to a title by letter. Or you can even catalog games by adding them to a separate favorites menu. And uh, this is all done. Um, it's a really quick process. Um, what's taking me so long with this build is that I, um, I'm not ready to completely give up on hyperspin yet. While I'm absolutely done with the uh, computer version of hyperspin, there is a Android version of hyperspin that, in my opinion, is the best. Um, video game interface uh, out there for the Android OS um, and I still want to use that with this ROM set. Um, I don't want to toggle two ROM sets because each ROM set is around 3 TB in data um, so I basically have to play around with the file structures to get um, all of the ROMs loaded up through LaunchBox to also be read on Hyperspin. Um, normally, that it's not a it's not a big to do. It's just I gotta set up each system separately, and I don't have a lot of time. I always have shit going on. I I'm always toggling 20 different projects. Um, tomorrow I might spend a week working on my basement, and. Um, Two weeks later get back to this you know so i don't know when i'm gonna get around to updating this again hopefully in a month or two i'll have everything done i know there's like three or four people waiting on me to complete this but i'm pretty sure i'm not charging you guys anything so you'll get it when i get it basically when i'm done you know i'll let you guys know uh just send me the uh those hard drives and um I'll make a clone of what I have for you. Um, but that's it. Yeah, this this launch box is absolutely amazing. Um, it's beautiful. And what you see here is pretty much what you get. Um, I'm running this right now on a outdated laptop that's probably five years old. And this thing still smokes, man. It looks great. So um, I'm sure you guys will enjoy this when it's when it's all complete and uh like i said hopefully a you know month or two will be done 